How's it going, everyone? It's Josh Cahill, the Real Pet Waste Millionaire. We're here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale at the W Hotel. Today, I'm gonna to show you what it takes to establish a brand new territory with Scoop Soldiers or a pet waste removal business. We're gonna look at demographics. We're gonna hit the streets, drive through some neighborhoods, talk to the local community. Follow us along today. You'll learn a lot. All right, so we're gonna walk through now the steps we go through to establish a new pet waste removal territory and business the Scoop Soldiers way. The first step is the simplest one. Just reach out through our website at scoopsoldiersfranchise.com and fill out the form. You're gonna get an email with the next steps. There's six major steps, but there's a lot of little steps in between. Uh, the greatest thing about this business is from the time that you inquire to the time that you can open it can be as little as 60 or 90 days. That's one thing we love about Scoop Soldiers. Once you inquire, you're gonna get some information from us and you're gonna be able to schedule an in-depth call with our development team. You'll have a chance to learn about who we are, what our culture's like, talk about the business, talk about the future, talk about our past a little bit. And then the third step will be to complete our application process. It's a simple application just to get to know you better. After that, we link you up with all of our current franchisees. You get to call the people who have already been operating a Scoop Soldiers business, talk to them about the wonderful sides of the business, the struggles, how the growth's been, how our support systems work, how we deliver on our promises. Then is the real fun part. You get to meet our team, come in for our Meet the Troops Day, and you get to meet everybody in all facets of the business. Our marketing team, our support team, our administration team, our operations team, and you really get a chance to ask any and every question to the people who you'd be working with as a franchisee. After that, you get some time to continue to do your research. We supply you with a ton of information that we're gonna to see today as we walk through these steps. And the last and final step is to sign the franchise agreement and get launched. So Scoop Soldiers has already been operating in Florida for a while. We've got great franchisees over four different major markets. We've always wanted to expand to Miami and Fort Lauderdale. It's a beautiful place. The people here are amazing. And so even though it's beautiful, even though it's a great place, we still operate by data, by numbers. And so we're gonna walk through some of the uh, data that Scoop Soldiers provides when you're looking at a market. We've got a lot of awesome tools to easily access that data. And so first and foremost, every operation for Scoop Soldiers is gonna have, it's all territory based, based on household, single family homes, pet spending, household incomes, average age, all sorts of data is provided through, a, through our Frantera platform, which we're gonna look at right now. Um, each color represents a different territory, all different sizes, uh, but you're gonna see a lot of congruencies in the data because the territories are intentionally built that way. This information is provided by Scoop Soldiers early on when you've kind of narrowed down a specific area that you'd like to operate in. Let's look at some of these territories real quick. This is the most northern territory that we're looking at uh, starting, it's Fort Lauderdale, the Palm Beach area. If I click on this, shows me a bunch of different data points. Total population, five-year projection. So you can see how quickly an area is expected to grow. Average age, housing units occupied, average household income, median household, household income. Households with 100,000 plus in income. And then this is really cool to look at too. Pet services, what they believe is spent on pet related services in that specific area. We also include gardening and lawn care. So it kind of goes hand in hand. If you're taking care of your property, if you're making sure your landscaping is in order, you're an ideal client for Scoop Soldiers. Got to keep that yard poop free, baby. And then single family dwelling units. It's great to know, especially in the Miami area, we expect that because of a lot of the high rises, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different than a suburban area like some of the other areas that we operate in, Phoenix, Dallas. Um, there's a lot more high-rise living and condo living in, in this market, which is also exciting because we don't only service single-family homes. 
you're able to uh, build a great commercial business with apartment complexes and buildings uh, that are pet friendly. So first thing I do is just look through each of these territories. As I mentioned, you're, you're gonna see a lot of the similar data. Income levels are usually about the same. Populations are usually within the same range, but uh, a lot of interesting stuff uh, like average age does vary quite a bit. If we look at the Fort Lauderdale, the Southern Fort Lauderdale a territory, you can see the age is 51. If you go a little, average age is 51. If you go further north, the average age is 40. We have clients of all ages, uh, a lot of retirees, some young professionals. And so it's interesting to see, but we can take this data and mark it differently to different age groups. And so this is what's so valuable about using Frantera and having the capability and this data available. Uh, so we can really tweak and figure out how to grow as fast as possible. Um, as we look at the third Fort Lauderdale territory, which is almost the most Southern, you can see that that average age is 44. So there's a pocket of different demographics in between those two territories. And it's nice to know that. Uh, but the average household income is almost identical in that territory to the other two. These are the things that we're looking at to make sure that these territories can pump off enough profit to make our franchise franchises successful. Here's another breakdown from Frantera. This is territory specific. It shows zip codes and the territory boundaries a little bit better than that other map I was showing you. But the coolest part about this particular report is although it shows that same information, projected population, incomes, um, it can break it, it breaks it down by zip code. And again, this is just so valuable to see the population in each specific zip code because we can target our marketing by zip code. And so you can see there's a pretty big swing. You can see the where a lot of the younger folks are living would be in this zip code right here in 33150. The average age there is 39. And in some of the other parts within the same territory, but different zip codes, it goes up to as high as 47. This is just really valuable information. It gives you a great sense of how many single family housing units there are versus apartment complexes and condo buildings and so on and so forth. But it's just so valuable to know the average household income by zip code. And Frontera provides that for us and Scoop Soldiers looks at all of this when they're building the territories out, which just really streamlines everything and helps you create plans to grow the business. Another amazing thing about creating these territories and having a tool like Frontera is we can look at other territories that have been super successful and base the parameters when building a new territory or looking to expand on those same figures and those same data points. If you see here, we zoom in to Dallas, Texas. You can see our territories there all the way down here in Houston, San Antonio, Oklahoma City. And right now we have over 96 franchise territories. We're probably actually over 100, but being able to look at the data across the US and compare the areas that we've had great success in, in building new territories is invaluable. Okay, not only do you have all the data and information for Frantera, but Scoop Soldiers, we have a connection that provides us invaluable gold data on all the businesses that are pet related, all the apartment complexes. This is something that can literally save you thousands and thousands of dollars, thousands of hours. We used to actually go build the lists just by Googling, looking at maps, driving through the streets. Now we have the capability to literally pump off thousands of valuable partners for our future business and future territories at a fraction of the cost that, and a fraction of the effort that it used to. So this is something, uh, if you wanna do mail campaigns, email campaigns, hit the phones, hit the streets, that is just unparalleled. You can see here on the screen, there's thousands and thousands of potential partners and businesses here. If you need something like this to help fast track your growth, 
You can get it from Scoop Soldiers. Contact us at scoopsoldierfranchise.com. These are the things that set us in guard. All right, so when we're looking at the Territory Demographic Report, and we see some zip codes that stand out. Here's, a, here's one, for example, that has a really high average household income. So now that we know that this specific zip code has such a high income, we can just hop over to Google Maps, take a look at what type of developments this is. Are these high-rise buildings that have high incomes? Or is this suburban communities and large developments? So I've popped into Google Maps and I, with satellite view, I can look here. What type of housing units are these? You can see that this is actually right on the beach. So obviously the real estate's really expensive. People do have a lot of uh, expendable income, but the density is, is not as strong as you would see in some more support communities. At the same time, you can also see there's a lot of high rise buildings here on the map, which again is an opportunity in commercial. So now we can say, okay, in this area, we're gonna really focus on commercial growth because there's not a lot of single family residents. But if we go west, further away from the beach, you start to see more density in, in single family homes and houses. And this report just makes it so easy, makes it um, uh, really easy to figure out what the strategy is for all the individual zip codes within a territory. So using the map and the zip code report, all the great data we have, I'm able to look at this neighborhood, for example, right here. You can see there's a lot of density, uh, single family homes, a lot of density. This is our prime area because the denser we can have our clients, the more efficient the business is, the more profit it can help off. But these are the type of neighborhoods that we want to take a drive through today, uh, see if people are out walking dogs, kind of drive through, and again, match it to, to the areas that we've been successful in in different territories. Um, drive around, are there a lot of parks and uh, things to do with dogs in these areas? This is the bread and butter for Scoop Soldiers. Single family residents uh, that are get with this dense, densely populated areas, uh, gated neighborhoods. Right here on the screen, you can see that's a lot of homes. We wanna check out an area like this because we know this is where our customers are. Here's an example of dense single family homes high incomes. You can see some of these houses are really large, but they're not on huge lots. And so this is where our customers live. Uh, they have the yards for the dogs. They're taking care of their landscape. You can tell they're beautiful properties that are really maintained. And these are the type of properties where our customers are ordered. All right. So again, we're here at beautiful Fort Lauderdale. This is Teresa Johnston. Going through the discovery process of launching a Scoop Soldier franchise. And uh, we're going to have a good day. See what stands out between some of these territories. You know, some of these income levels, they, I mean, oh, like yeah. you see, average household income, 174. You see a big swing, 89. So, what I, it, so what I was doing is I was looking like at the specific zip codes, kind of looking at what kind of housing units they are. So, I mean, this is so cool because we can say, okay, why is this one 200,000 and one right next to it is 89,000. And you can kind of see apartment living versus single family versus big estates that makes sense. versus yeah. high rise buildings that are millions of dollars for yeah. each unit. And so we were kind of just going through that, looking at the different sizes of the territories, which they're all similar in population, but each, each zip code is going to be a little bit different. The coolest thing too is like these average ages. There's not a huge swing, but you know, there's not. But this allows us like 65 year old average age. It's kind of on the upper end. So how would we target those residents versus like an average of 36? Right. Well, we can find 36 year olds on Instagram a lot easier than we're going to be able to find 65. 65 year olds. Yeah. So it really like just looking at that kind of gives a sense of in each territory what's the best way to make sure people see us hear about us right and what are the best ways to target those specific ages incomes right. so that's we were walking through that today and Thanks. the cool thing is is then you could just like bounce over to google maps look up the zip code zoom in see like okay again what right. you know what type of housing is it 
Um, like what, are we but what are we looking at and, and what is the best way to reach those type of people? We also, uh, I don't think you've seen this yet. I have not seen this. Okay. Yet. So this is just literally something I, that's pretty new to me. Okay. Um, that we've kind of got like this inside deal on. This is invaluable information. Yes. Right here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And like literally there's thousands of, these are all dog friendly apartments. So not only do we have the address, we have the contact information, telephones, right. emails, how many units there are in the buildings. So of course, like, you know, when we're going into a new market, okay, let's target an apartment with 309 units versus 12. You, you know, and it's just all, all this awesome dog friendly apartments, dog breeders, uh, veterinarians. Is, it's, it's like you guys have the information for us. We just got to zone gotta, in and. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. this this is just this is so cool that oh, like e even before weird. we have to make a decision, like you know, on hey, yes, moving forward, just to see yeah. and strategize on how we would how we would build this business, this new business. So, um, just tons. I mean, literally thousands. The strategizing is what excites me, oh, and the boots on the ground excites me even more. <laughs> it's just so me. You, you're so shy. I know. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, you know, we were shooting a video, just kind of take people through that process, and then here we are doing it. That's amazing. We're we're actually doing it. Yep. Soldier. That's awesome. Soldier. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah, so we kind of, we've targeted a couple places we want to check out. So we're going to hop in, hashtag that book G. Let's go. You go right on Ramar Street. No. <laughs> that was horrible. Maybe don't quit your day job. <laughs> uh, uh, these aren't cheap by any means. But, you know, some of them look a little more worn down than what we're used to in Dallas or some of our other markets. But we literally have customers in every type of home you could ever imagine. I used to scoop in um, Houston in a trailer park and we had four weekly customers there. I could hit all four within like 15 minutes. And so, although, yes, we have certain demographics that definitely we see a higher conversion rate, retention rate with, there, everybody uses this type of service. It's not just the super wealthy sure. like most people assume. And I've also been in yards that literally haven't been mowed in probably years, and they still will have us come through when the grass is this long and try to find the poop. Really? Yeah. Really. Believe it or not. Josh, do you ever look at economic development plans? Absolutely. Talk yeah, I, 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 I look at them in the cities that I live because I like to see the growth and I like to see how everything is zoned. This area reminds me of one of our other franchise territories, like St. Pete's, okay. all that area. They've got like a beach area, they've got kind of a downtown area, but you can see like most of this is condo living, yeah. apartment and condo living. Right. So it's very similar to St. Pete's. Which, as you can imagine, too, you've got, you've got snowbirds coming into town, right. like, over the winter months. So it is definitely, like, different than some other markets, but sure. there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, you know, some, most, some of these buildings will have people on staff that are responsible for keeping it tidy. Sure. But especially, like, super large ones, staff never seems to be able to keep up with it, and that's when they hire somebody like us. So the question is, is your staff able to keep up with the demand? Yeah, or do you have residents that are constantly complaining about Not people leaving their dog waste okay. everywhere? Nice These place. are some nice homes. And so I just like to cruise through and just get it. For me, there's just something about like seeing the town and like putting your feet to the ground. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. That's Big unique. Wow. I'm sure the neighbors love that. I bet. But certain neighborhoods that are managed by HOAs, you know, you could target them differently than you would areas that are a little bit more unique and don't really have the HOAs. But this, uh, 
Not many people walking their dogs right now, but look, they've got turf out there. I bet you they have a dog mm -hmm. and a little fence, probably a little tiny dog. Ski! <laughs> Um, anywhere you see, like all these lawns, you know, they're, they're all pretty manicured. They're all cut within yeah. the last week. That's another thing like, okay, if they're, if they're maintaining their yards well, they may also be able to, or want to spend on, on keeping our property free. 